Hello everybody, my name is Lily. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. You should totally subscribe down below and join the family and follow me on Instagram and click that notification bell down below. Um, so I feel like I haven't sat down and made a video in so long, but for today's video is going to be like a little minimalistic makeup routine. So as we all know, we are still in quarantine but kind of coming out of it at least from where i live in tennessee things are starting to open back up well actually they're starting to close back down again because we opened up too soon and then everyone got it now so we all have to kind of quarantine again so that's where we're at but i know that it can just seem drowsy and gloomy just sitting in your room all day not doing anything so I know some days are worse than others, so it always feels good to just put on some makeup and make yourself feel better. If you're anything like me, you've kind of forgotten how to actually get ready. Like, how did I get ready five days a week and be at school by like 8 o'clock and actually be on time and be awake and do work? Do math at 8 o'clock in the morning. I do good to wake up by 10 on a good day, so. Someone actually requested this video on my Instagram. I put up a little poll of what you guys would want to see, and someone responded with like a little minimalistic makeup routine, thing like that. So, that's what I'm doing. If you want to, you should follow me on Instagram. I post things like that often, or if you just want to DM me with a video idea, go right ahead, I'll most likely do it. And without any further introduction, let's just go on and get into the video. Okay, so starting off with the clean face and my hair pulled back, I'm going to put on my moisturizer, which is the Curology Moisturizer. This is just uh, the kind that comes with like the three part set of Curology. And as you can see, my face is, does have some breakouts, but I'm trying to fix that. When I went to the beach, I didn't wash my face any because I just wanted to leave it to the sun to clear up my face and that was a mistake because now it's very broke out. So the first thing I'm going to put on my face after my moisturizer is the Tarte Found Sealer. I actually got a silly band on it. I actually got this at Ulta, I think, that you can get on like the Tarte website or Sephora, I'm pretty sure. But this is very lightweight and not very full coverage. So um, what I like about it is that it's lightweight and it does kind of even out my skin tone, but I will go in with concealer after this just to cover up those like really hard to get pimples and blemishes and stuff like that. So I just do like a pump or two. I take Beauty Blender. Well, I think it's a real Techniques sponge, but you get the idea. Okay, so now that we look like we could be marketing for Snapchat, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Light Sand because normally I'm pale and I'm in no way tan, but I went to the beach, so we are, it is a little light, but we're gonna work with it. So now that this is all basically blended in, I'm just using a setting powder and a powder brush just to kind of like top it all off, mattify it, things like that. I'm glad this camera doesn't get too close because I need to get my eyebrows waxed so bad. Like my unibrow, she's coming in strong, everyone. Okay, so now that everything is set, I'm just going to go in with bronzer and I'm using the Hoola bronzer and just this like uh, angle brush. Um, I think I got this in a, <laughs> I think I got this in a set at like TJ Maxx or something like that. So I just take a little bit of it and focus that like right here on my cheekbones and also on my forehead and on my um, jawline. All right, so now it's time for blush. This is the same palette I've used since I've had my channel. That's been a year. Cause like my second video was a makeup routine and I used this blush. Should probably get rid of it, but I'm not going to. So just focus this on like the apples of my cheeks and kind of like take it out. Okay, so now that I kind of look like a clown, I just take the same powder brush that I had and just go over my whole face and it really blends it all in and kind of brings it together. Or at least I tell myself that it does that, so like it kind of makes myself think that. Okay, so now I just put on a little tad bit of highlight. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just basically go through my eyebrows with this Gimme Brow Plus. I can't even read it anymore. I think it's from Benefit. Um, it's like the sample, little sample tube, but it like hardly has anything left in it, but it has just enough to kind of like come through my brows and make them stay there. So it's like perfect to just have them definitely in a shape, but not like drawn on so that it's like 
I'm wearing makeup, you know? Also, I feel like literally any step in this makeup routine could be taken away or you could add a lot more to it. Like, you could definitely go with just concealer or just foundation with all the other stuff. Or you definitely don't have to use bronzer or um, blush. I just prefer it personally. Um, you obviously don't have to do your eyebrows, but the next step I think is vital is doing your lashes. So I curl my lashes with this Tarte Eyelash Curler. I think, um, really what I've been doing during quarantine is just wearing mascara whenever I like go to my grandma's house or go to church because our church did open, but it's actually closing again. Um, but just wearing mascara can really just be like, oh, she's wearing makeup. Mascara I use, I love. It is the Thrive liquid lash extensions i got this at ulta one of my best friends showed this to me whenever you take it off you literally just put water on your hands and like do like this with your eyelashes and it comes off so easily like you don't have to use anything but water and it's just amazing it's like so crazy whoa that looks kind of cool it's like so crazy of me to think that um this time last year i was like just starting my youtube channel and it was like this uh, last year a few weeks ago that um, I went to FCA camp and that vlog is like one of my most watched videos. You should totally go watch it. I'll try to link it down below if I remember it. But that was like such a fun week and a fun video and I miss camp so much. I'm so sad they're not having it this year but I mean obviously like they can't. So I'm... I just miss that so much and it's so fun. I remember walking around and people being like and I'd be like filming and I'd be like yeah I have a YouTube channel. And I would just be like so nervous about it and I still do get nervous about it because I'm not that big on YouTube but like I don't care. This is just a fun thing for me to do. It's fun to feel like I have a voice because I do have a voice and so do you. Um, but I just love it so much. So thank you guys so much for like giving me this that I'm able to do this. It's all because of you guys. Okay so to top it all off I'm just going to put on some chapstick. This is just... The normal chapstick hyper the, the chapstick hybrid is what I said. The normal chapstick brand total hydration. And then last but not least, I am just putting on this lip gloss. It's from like Avon. My grandma gave it to me, I think. So love that. Any lip gloss will work. Alright everybody, so this is like the kind of finished look. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you stayed till the end, I appreciate you so much. You literally mean the world to me. You should totally like this video down below. Um, once again, DM me video suggestions if you have any. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you. Jesus loves you. Don't forget to be the reason that someone smiles today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.